welcome back again to Biotechnica. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the top 10 academic tools for the research student. As a research student, whether you might be doing your uh, master's research or you might be in your MPhil research or you might be in your PhD research, some of the academic tools you need to know so that your research work or any sort of work that you do it in your computer becomes very easy. So today I'll be talking about the top 10 academic tools for all the research students everywhere. So let's talk about all the top 10 in detail. Hey everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's talk about the complete topic in detail. So first academic tool that you know, need to know is Paper Digest. What is this Paper Digest? I'll show you the web page also so that you can understand what are these academic tools are helpful for. This is very helpful for a master's student or a PhD student, whoever who are watching out this video, this is definitely going to help you. So bookmark all these uh, things in your laptop. So first, let's talk about what is this uh, paper digest. So if you want to know more about it, you can visit onto the website which is given here. You will be going to the paper digest. I've given you the link also so that for your reference. And this is actually an AI which helps you to uh, summarize any academic articles for you. Suppose if you're finding very much difficulty to read any very large articles. So this is definitely going to make you to read those articles within very less period of time, which means they're going to concise the articles and give you so that you will understand what is the uh, crisp that is given in the article exactly. So reading time is definitely going to reduce within three minutes. So that's the paper digest actually does. And you will get to know what is exactly the research paper talks about or any topic that they would be writing so you can grasp the core areas of the research because if you're going to read a complete research paper it might take a lot of time for you so this is like a very uh, faster way of reading the entire content so this is about the paper digest suppose i'm going to show you one example here this is from uh, the paper digest only as if you can see it over here so this talks about uh, the burden of diseases attributed um, to ambient air pollution in Thailand. This is a research paper. So this research paper, when we're going to read, it's going to be very concise. So what they would do is they are going to uh, write the complete details in a very short format. Uh, what are the details? What is the discovery? Everything in very easier way. So whenever you want to read any article, you can just go and check it over there, which will be available. So this is one of them. So if you want to know about the full text, they have also given uh, the exact uh, link for this one also, where you can go and check this one. So paper does just is a faster way of reading any research paper or any kind of articles that you seem very difficult to understand but when you're going to read it in the paper digest you're literally going to get this and you can also have an access to the full article that link will also be provided so this is one of the important academic tools that as a researcher or master's researcher or phd researcher you need to know it's a faster way of reading and understanding the research papers very faster and the next one is paper pal. What is this paper pal going to be? You need to have your paper pal installed. This is all going to be, uh, you can just uh, sign up uh, free and then you can actually go in for it. This is what you don't have to go for most of the paid version, which is actually available. So this is paper pal and you can see the website I've given over here. So you can just log on to the website and you can actually bookmark in your laptop or uh, there are something that you have to download also. What is this exactly going to talk about? This is going to be a topic specific language suggestion that makes your writing better and faster. Yes, it's almost a kind of grammarly that we use. So you can see here, experience the future of academic writing as a researcher, whether you might be in your master's degree or PhD, you're doing whatever streams, you would almost have to write academic writing, any kind of project or your dissertation or any sort of research paper or any sort of information or lab meetings. If you have to write a content of it, you might be puzzled of what do I have to write, which word would be appropriate for you. Then you can definitely go for paper file. So it will give you a right suggestion whether you can use an appropriate word here or not similar to that of a grammarly so you can also use it it is online available so you can literally go for paper pal the next comes rightful so the third one is going to be rightful what is this rightful all about this is a very nice uh, one i can suggest because it will tell you how to uh, paraphrase and all those things which when you're starting if you're going to have very short duration of time to do your dissertation work or your phd thesis or any sort of research writings you might have a very less duration of time that time you need someone to assist you 
nowadays it's available on online so you can literally go for it and you can understand so this is the website for rightful so it is an ai which will help you to format the work that you're going to put what does it does so you can even generate an abstract yes when you're going to go for a conference or when you're going to write a dissertation or when you're going to write a phd research paper you need to write the abstract which is a very important thing because it gives the complete essence of the complete research paper so this app is definitely going to help you or this academic tool is definitely going to help you to generate your abstract so suppose if you have a rough draft of it you just have to paste it over there and it will tell you some uh, changes that you have to make it over there so it is helpful for abstract generated and copy edit is also possible in this case and it's responsible to do one important thing is paraphrasing it and it will also give you an appropriate title for uh, that uh, any paragraph that you're going to put it over there so which is an amazing thing because we might be confused of what to write in the title so this is one such thing that makes your work a bit easier so this is uh, this rightful one we are you are actually seeing and rightful helps you to write paraphrase copy edit and more here you're seeing one image which is about the paraphrase sentences they have uh, written the complete sentence but this is suggesting you you don't have to write the goal of this paper and all the paper aims to thoroughly review the currently used method which is a very easy version of getting your uh, things done which is exactly helpful for paraphrasing also and the next thing copy edit with research tailored ai so it is giving you which can be accepted need to be checked more 0% and needs to be further evaluate 100% it's giving so you can see they have written almost something and it has striked something and gave you a very correct suggestion so you can accept it or you can actually reject almost mostly this gives you very perfect suggestion so you can copy edit and you can make changes if you want to go in for the next one of course you need to know what title to choose for so it will give you a uh, title also if you're going to put any sort of uh, sentences or uh, a a sentence or a paragraph over there and as i already mentioned it's going to generate abstract for you this is very important because we cannot get help always from a person who is not available at time so what you can do is you can take help of this one and you can actually generate your abstract so this is going to help you uh, to regenerate also and you just have to paste it and you can just regenerate certain sort of words also so generating your abstract and it's going to give you Uh, some statistics of words and paraf phrases also what phrases goes very well here like they are giving 29 percentage have a positive impact on so they have typed to have a great impact on so and so but this app is going to give you a suggestion which one is more stronger 29 percentage they have given have a positive impact on so what you should not do had a strong impact on is not an applicable one they are actually suggesting it so rightful is definitely going to be a wonderful academic tool if you if you are writing a research project or review of literature or your dissertation whatever it is rightful is definitely going to be one source for you because most of the things are done by this one which is freely available for all of you the next one is bio render what is this going to be so this is also available online for you so this is the website if you want to go for it you can literally go for it and you can see this is like a Uh, professional uh, science figures you can create within very short span of time suppose in your research paper if you want to put some sort of uh, pictures or images you don't have to copy it from uh, google or anywhere else what you can do is you can actually create your own scientific image that you have done in your project so how can you do that it's not going to be very easy suppose I'll show you one image which is given here. So here you're actually seeing create a professional science figures in minute. It's sign up for free is available. So you're you're seeing some structures which is here, some antibodies, receptors, and all those things. There are some suggestions like drawings and what are the things, receptors, ligands. everything they have given so which means if you want, if you're talking about a cell signaling pathway you can use any of the ligand you can use a receptor and you can actually make a scientific figures within very short span of time so this is a wonderful thing when you're going to do any sort of project or research for master student whatever it is if you want to be kind of creative enough to include something in your project or something else then you can definitely go for it so bio render is a very wonderful thing that you can actually go for it So this is about the fourth academic tool that you don't need to know the next one is translator 
suppose you would like to translate something else which might not be done very faster so you can use deep l translator this is also one of the academic tool that you need to know the website for this you can go for this and you can actually check over this used to translate either your documents or your text so you can take a text that you want to translate into some language german language or J japanese or whatever it is so you can take a test text and copy it or you can just put your document there like a word document uh, any of the documents that you can put it over there and it just translate into either a document or a text i'm going to show you this one you can see this is the deep l translator so here it is detect language and what are the language you want to translate for so here you're seeing 29 languages are actually available so you can put pdf uh, files or doc or ppt even you can use your ppt here and you can actually go in for translating one so deep l translator is one of one good thing that you can translate your documents or your text. So these are five we have done and we'll talk about the next five. So the next one is going to be Phenolophy. So what is this going to be? So this is the website. If you want to know about more about it, you can go to the website and you can actually log in and you can know about it. It is actually going to check your manuscript. Suppose if you have a script readily available, a draft. Uh, you just have a rough draft that is available for you, but you're planning to submit it to a journal. But journal, when you're going to submit your articles to a journal, the journal usually gives us suggestions like what should be the rules uh, that you have to write the journal accordingly, the manuscript has to be. So they will give you, you need to have your keywords, you need to have your abstract, how many words you need to have, everything, they'll be giving you some sort of rules in every journal. So sometimes what happens is we might miss certain rules that is suggested by the journals. So what we can do is you can go and put your manuscript over there so that you can check whether the journal requirements has been satisfied or not. If not, it will suggest you that this word is not written in your paper. So what you can do, you can modify that one. So I'll be showing you this one. This is a wonderful thing when you're going to uh, do this one. This is the you know, home page that you can actually see. And I'm going to show you one example you can see. So they have returned one research paper, heterogeneous properties of central lateral and some thalamic synapses in the mouse triatum. So they have talked about all these things. You can see the feedback here. Uh, 28 checks passed and 13 they have given out of 28 13 is fine the rest of the things has some problem they are giving and they are giving a guideline also for this so full feedback they are giving here the title page wherever you're going to see the green one keywords found yes they can find the keywords institutional email is also there so everything is there word count not found so the word count is not done there so which means you have to go and do that again and the guidelines may be applicable to this ma manuscript the arrive guidelines so what are the things that does not correlate with the um, journals the rules and regulations that will be suggesting here whatever is satisfied it will be showing yes it has been done so it will tell you whether your manuscript is ready for uh, submitting to the journal exactly. So this is a wonderful thing because whenever we submit our uh, manuscript uh, to any journal, we used to have a thought like whether we have done everything perfectly. So this is going to give us an idea where we went wrong and where we went right. So this is a wonderful academic tool that you need to have whether as a master's student or whether as a PhD research fellow. Next one is Outlet. Uh, outlet you can see here this is the website if you want to go for uh, you can go for it and check what is this all about so this is a global open access platform to share and source your biological samples suppose if you have your biological sample uh, you can actually share all your biological samples and everything which is given here this is the exact website you're actually seeing this is the outlet and this is having 22,000 sample and 330 species and 645 scientists have been here and this is how it actually looks suppose if you're gonna uh, log in free of course you're gonna see your samples here your genus your species sample type where you have uh, seen it preserving medium how you have preserved this what is the sec how much quantity you have given actions and select everything is given here so this is how you actually upload your samples also so this is an open access platform to share and source your biological samples so this thing you need to know suppose if you are doing any sort of research 
The next comes Zotero. So what is this going to be? Yes, whenever you do your master's dissertation or your PhD, one problem we used to go is uh, having a lot of problem when we are doing a bibliography. Yes, it's very difficult to do because it's going to be kind of boring also. But there's one important academic tool which can help you is Zotero. It's going to be a bibliography manager for you. Yes, it actually helps you to do that. And it's like a personal assistant for you. When you're doing your research, it's going to help you a lot. You might be experiencing after using it. So check it out over there. So collect, organize, annotate and cite and share your research. So this is how it's going to be. You can actually download this. Certain things I told you that you can use it online. But Zotero, you can download it for your Mac or Windows or Linux or whatever it is. You can go for it. It is helping you to actually concise your uh, projects or your uh, drafts, everything. And it's also helpful to maintain your bibliography kind of easy. So you can download it and keep it in your laptop accordingly. So this is one of the amazing academic tool that you can go for. The next one is Kudos. Okay, what is this Kudos? So you can see this uh, website over here. So this is a platform which is responsible to collaborate with researchers. Suppose you have your PI and you are there. Sometimes you cannot share your articles or your book or your draft anybody to them. So it's a platform for many people to collaborate also and it's also responsible to cite your research. So you can create, you can publish, you can share it with anybody else of your articles. And it's definitely going to give you views and citation counts. It's also going to be counted for this one, which means we all wanted as a researcher is this one. And it's also been used by many people like academics, journalists, educators, funders, industries are going to use this worldwide. And this is how it's going to look like. So you're going to see all the things like stories. You can see here, Professor Jennifer has uh, published and how many views is given what are the citation and everything is given whatever the research article that you want to publish you can put everything over there and you can share it with people and you can collaborate with people also this is an amazing platform where you can put all your informations in one spot so this is about kudos the next comes lit maps so I'll be talking about this lit maps. It is also for communicating with your collaborators. This is also wonderful. You can see your research papers also. So if you want to know more about it, you can go to the website. You can check here and it's going to visualize your research paper and it's your research platform for designing clarity, comprehensiveness and for collaboration. You can collaborate with four or five people so that you can share your document with them. They can suggest on it and librarians, PhD candidates, many communicators are using this one. So this is the lit maps actually you can see here the research platform designed for clarity comprehensiveness and collaboration you can do intuitive research or there can be citation network also is there collaboration tool team you can work as a team and there are many many essential tools that they have and you can see this one this is how you have like you can create your workspace uh, if you have your project or if you would like to collaborate with a PI or anybody else, any sort of things that you want to share with, you can create a new space and you can just add some collaborator and you can start sharing your research things with them, which is really going to be amazing. You don't have to send it one by one again and again using your Gmail or any sort of things like this. This is like a one time moment to share with a lot of people. So that's going to be amazing if you're going to be a research student. So. So these are some of the top 10 academic tool if you are an MSc researcher or you might be anybody else who want to know. This is not only for the researchers, anybody who would like to learn a lot of academic tools, then definitely you can add it as a bookmark or you can uh, download it in your laptop. This is going to do many amazing things like if you want to write something or any research papers, this is definitely going to help. So I've been talking about the paper digest, paper pal, rightful bio, render, translators, fenilope, outlet, zotero, kudos and lit map so i believe that this video is helpful for all of you so if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel if you have any questions regarding any of these things you can always welcome to put your uh, questions in the comments section we are definitely going to revert back to you thank you all of you for your time and i'm going to meet you back again with another video thank you all of you